right, it's uh, good to be here in Houston, and uh, it's been a quick turnaround for us. Uh, we've changed time zones, uh, I think, twice now in uh, the last three days, but uh, we've had a couple good days of practice back home in Seattle. Got a great send-off by our, our fan base there uh, on campus. Uh, they all showed up, and uh, you know our guys really felt the love there. Um, a good, smooth trip here, and we're ready to uh, get back to work uh, with a practice tomorrow, walk through uh, on Sunday, and then uh, the game on Monday. So um, we're looking forward to being here. Uh, we know uh, this is uh, an exciting time here in Houston, and uh, looking forward to all the events and everything that's been planned here. Excited uh, for our guys to experience all of this. Questions? Coco Dominguez, Fox 20 says, welcome. Welcome to the city. Are you feeling the H-Town love, the Warren Moon connection, the JV on green back home? Did yeah. you feel that on the plane? Yeah, we do. I mean, it, you know, the guys, uh, you know, we've got a pretty mature group on there, you know, and so getting on the plane and, and flying down here, there's a lot of guys catching up on their sleep and a lot of guys watching film and getting getting uh, the, the work in that they need to, uh, to to be able to practice and have a good session tomorrow. Um, but we are excited, you know, and uh, there's a lot – you know, around this city, and uh, you know, we'll get schooled up on that, and uh, can't wait for the guys to experience it. Uh, Coach Nico from Como up in Seattle, good to see you. Good to see Just you. the the way you guys have fought all year, the the last minute wins. Uh, how much has that prepared this team for this moment and this stage with a national title on the line? Yeah, I think uh, I think it has a lot. Uh, I really don't feel like when the when the pressure's on and and the lights are brightest, uh, whether it's a game or an, a, a moment in a game. Um, I really feel like our guys just respond and can hone in and not get overwhelmed in the situation that they're in and go make the play, uh, do their job, trust the guys around them. And so uh, I think all those moments that we've had, experiences together, have formed a belief and trust in each other that's unwavering. And, uh, you know, we're, these guys are on a mission and uh, they know that a big part of the mission is being in those moments. So we're ready for the next one. Coach, Joe Gleason, ABC 13 here in Houston. Just talk a little bit, have you been to Houston before? And do you have any memories of past experiences here? Uh, I mean, just a lot of recruiting. That's really it, just in and out and a lot of recruiting. Can't say uh, we've been here for extended period of times, but uh, um, have a lot of you know people who have and uh, looking, forward to, looking forward to being here. Anyone else? You talked to Javion about uh, just coming home and, and being back home with the family. What's what's yeah. what's his excitement level? Yeah, I know. Um, you know, after the Pac-12 championship and through the break, um, that was something that popped up in a conversation. Just his excitement to get back down here, uh, hopefully win the Sugar Bowl and get a chance to to play back home here in the national championship. So very special. I think every guy's got their own journey, and this is a really cool experience and really cool time for he and his family. Coach, how would it feel for you personally to win the national? Yeah, you know, when when you're talking about the uh, be competing at the highest level, um, you know, FBS football and, uh, you know, this is this is the, the biggest one of them all, right? This is what you work for. And, um, you know, for our guys to experience the opportunity to be in it is one thing. Uh, to come out on top and be uh, national champions, um, that would be truly special. We, we, uh, we don't get caught up in that too much yet because we know there's so much work it has to be done, and that's really where our focus is at. But, you know, obviously uh, that's a pretty special thing to put everything in throughout the course of the year when it comes to the work. Uh, for a lot of these guys, um, they've worked their entire careers. Um, they've made sacrifices and um, commitments uh, and, and decisions to decide to maybe come back instead of going to the NFL or, or whatever it might be. And, uh, you know, all those sacrifices come to this moment. And uh, it's just really rewarding. And uh, to win a championship would be special for him. Uh, Coach, Nico from Como up in Seattle again. Just We saw the send-off on Mont Lake today. We've seen the support from Husky Nation all season. How special was it for you guys to have that send-off? And how much did that kind of get this weekend started on the right note? Yeah, I think, we, I think the guys knew that there was going to be some people there. I don't know if they really knew it was going to be to that extent. Uh, we met in the locker room real quick. I had a couple announcements. And just kind of gave them the heads up that uh, there's a lot of people outside, you know, and when they walked out, uh, the cheers and, and just the support, it means so much. Um, you know, we feel like we're, we're bringing a lot to the city, but we know that the city's given us so much all year long. Uh, they're in Husky Stadium and just uh, 
a lot of big moments where uh, the crowd's been really important, um, but just the support, you know, each and every day throughout the entire year, uh, it's been it's been unwavering. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys.